good hello everyone and welcome to fins and whiskers in today's video we are going to go over safe veggies for gerbils and i'm also going to include other greens that don't really meet the requirement to be a veggie but they are safe for gerbils as well but of course before we begin make sure you boop that subscribe button in the nose and we'll get on to the video so I know a lot of you guys ask how much veggies you should be feeding and my general rule of thumb is one tablespoon daily. Now this can be for two to three gerbils and you can feed this daily. Just make sure that their stool is not wet and if you do notice that it is, I would suggest going for a teaspoon daily and and until they show that it's okay and make sure you are including variety as variety is very important for the well-being of your gerbils so starting the list off is lettuce and specifically romaine lettuce or red leaf lettuce you want to make sure it's either of these two because they are more green than the others and provide more vitamins and minerals and i suggest feeding the top green part and leaving out the whitish bottom as that part contains more water than gerbils need to have. Overall, the green half is better and contains the most vitamins and minerals. Spinach is also a great leafy green to feed gerbils. You can feed this daily as well. And you can also feed broccoli, carrots, and cauliflower. Now, I only had a mix that included it in little bits. That's what I feed them. All three are safe in their regular form as well. Green peas are next on the list and you can feed them individually or you can feed them in the vein itself. Just make sure you avoid edamame. It's different but it looks similar and you cannot feed that to your gerbil. Bell peppers are also a great source of vitamins and minerals and safe for gerbils. Now what I like to do is cut them into strips and then cut them into threes as I have three gerbils. So they get one piece individually. And of course, make sure that it fits into the tablespoon. Strawberries are a wonderful fruit, but it's not the only part of the plant that is edible. The leaves are also edible and safe, and you can feed these in their salads as well. And they make a great source of vitamins and minerals aside from the fruit itself. The stem of the plant is also edible and can be used the same as well. And with any plant that you feed your gerbil, make sure no pesticides have been used. Blackberries, which are also known for their fruit and are safe for gerbils, can also eat the leaves. The leaves, of course, make sure you are dethorning or taking off the thorns on the leaves of the plant. And their stems make great chew toys. So overall, black blackberries and raspberries which act the same, are safe, and are a great variety to add in their salads. Roses are also commonly fed to rodents, however, you can also feed the rose leaves, of course, as well with the blackberry leaves. You want to make sure that you do take off the thorns before you feed them. The canes can also be dried as wood. Sprouts and microgreens are also amazing additions to their salads as they are not only packed with vitamins and minerals, they have more nutrients than the full-grown adult plant. So if you were feeding sunflower sprouts instead of sunflower leaves, it would have a lot more nutrients than the leaves. Now, because of this, you also want to be a little cautious. I probably wouldn't feed them this every day. However, two to three times a week would be fine. And of course, they're great for gerbils especially because they're so tiny and gerbils are so tiny as well and so the water content is not as great as other veggies i will be making a video on how to grow microgreens it's so efficient and a very simple way to add variety into your gerbils diet and it's super fast and it's just something that you can take seeds from the supermarket and do for yourself within days so it's a wonderful method and i'm really excited to make that video so make sure you do check it out when it comes as a general rule though, if they can eat the seed, they can eat the microgreen. So for example, because they can eat flax seeds, they can also eat the microgreens from that seed as well. Not only do carrots make a great vegetable, but the greens on the carrot 
also do as well and you can feed them this separately or with carrots however you prefer and if you haven't seen my video on how to grow this directly from a carrot from the grocery store be sure to check out my video i will provide the link on the right hand side so you can see how to do it it's pretty easy and it's one of my favorite ways to get the greens from the carrot it's a fun project overall and your gerbils will enjoy them the flowers of calendula or pot marigold is edible but so are the leaves of the plant the greens are full with vitamins and minerals as with almost every plant in this video no 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 all plants in this video <laughs> let me correct that all of these are great sources of vitamins and minerals and that's why it's so important to include other than just the food mix and if you are using my diy food mix that i will also provide a link to this makes a wonderful addition to make sure that you are getting all the vitamins and minerals all the plants in this videos will be great for that Wheatgrass also works in a way like microgreens, and I have a video on how you can grow them. They're great because they're full and packed with nutrients, and they're so easy to grow, and you can grow them in days. So make sure you check that out for your gerbils as well. I know there's a rabbit in this video, but <laughs> it's the only video I have of my adult sunflower with leaves so just bear with it <laughs> but gerbils can also eat sunflower leaves of course sunflower leaves are huge so make sure you are sticking with the one tablespoon rule and you can also grow the microgreens as i've mentioned but you can also settle for the sunflower leaves as well they still have a great amount of nutrients and so they make a great addition overall and of course, again, make sure you do know that pesticides are, have not been used as you don't want to feed this to your gerbils as it will make them very sick. There are also disinfectants that you can use for this purpose at the grocery store. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is not a very extensive list. There's so many plants that you can feed gerbils, but I will continue to put that information out there. But make sure you like the video and comment down below with your favorite veggies. And I'll see you guys next time.